Hey everybody, this is Crystal Snapdragon bringing you another Mix It Up Bot tutorial. In the first tutorial, I showed you how to make basic chat commands using this bot commands such as your shout out command and your host count command. For this particular tutorial, I'm going to show you more advanced commands. It's going to be really short. These are really easy once you get the hang of it, but we're going to make counters. So a lot of people use counters such as a death counter to count how many times they've died in a particular game such as Fortnite. So I'm going to show you how to make those counter commands. They're pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Let's go ahead and get started. So here you can see I have my counters already grouped here. I'll show you how to group them. It's pretty easy. So let's go ahead and let's get started. This time we're going to go to new command. We're going to go to advanced command. We're going to give our command a name and I'm already already have an idea for one. We're going to do Dr. Pepper because I drink a lot of Dr. Pepper and I'm going to put it under my counters group. If you don't have a group already, just write a new title for the group right there, or you can just leave it ungrouped. It doesn't matter. It's your preference. And then the trigger, which will be Dr. Pepper. Over here, you have usage requirements. If you want it to only be usable by a mod, for instance, you also can set the cooldown timer. Here we have a cooldown of 500 seconds, and you can also make it cost a specific amount of currency. And I'll show you how to set up currency later. So next, we're going to go down here to action. And I suggest you look at some of these things that you can do whenever you have a chance. You can do so much in this bot, it's insane. So I'll show you how to use a good number of these once we get into the mix play board, once we get into the queue system, and making our own eight ball type of commands for random responses. But right now we're gonna go to counter. We're gonna give it a name, we're gonna call it pepper. The name is what it is storing the count under. So the name can be anything you want it to be. No one's going to actually see the name of the counter itself. And then you want to put it on update. And it's going to update it by plus one every time. Next, we're going to go back to action and choose chat message. This is going to be the message, of course, that's displayed in the chat. So we're going to say at Crystal Snapdragon. has had. So here we're putting in the counter name because again the number is stored under this name. So that's why I have money sign pepper here and pepper again is my counter name. Has had blank Dr. Peppers. She really needs to stop drinking that stuff. So that is going to be our chat message. So next we're going to save it. Let's go test it. Okay, Crystal Snapdragon has had four Dr. Peppers. She really needs to stop drinking that stuff. So the reason why it's already at four is because I made the command already, but I deleted it to show you guys how to make it. So that's why there's already a few numbers in there. But that's how it works. And then again, it has a cooldown. So if I tried to type it again, it would actually tell me, it whispers it to me, that's what this symbol here means, the arrow means it's being whispered to me, that the command is currently on a cooldown. Now let's say we wanted to make a death counter. I made one, but I haven't really used it, so I probably need to fix a few things. I named it death, the trigger is death, and here's the counter. So it updates it in plus one, but let's say that we want to reset the counter every time I go back online, right? So we're going to have it reset on load, you have to have it saved to a file though. So save to file, reset on load every time you go back online. And then of course the chat command, Crestle Snapdragon has died so many times. And I named the counter itself death. And again, the name of the counter is what the number is being stored under. So we'll save it. And that's how you make a counter, a counter command. Pretty easy, you'll get, you'll get it done in no time. And you can make any of them that you want I have four of them now already. Have fun with it. Don't ask me what these are. I'll just show them to you so it's not weird. So this one just says Crystal Snapdragon has pulled a song out of her ass so many times because a lot of people make me sing songs that I don't actually know. <laughs> and then <laughs> this channel has needed Jesus so many times. So you can do a lot of fun things with, with counter commands. And that is it for this video. The next video I'm going to show you how to do my favorite is the eight ball type commands that generate random responses.